Hi, I'm Maggie from Maggie'sCrochet.com and in this video I'm going to show you one of these wonderful scarves that you see here. They're arm knitted and I'm wearing one that I made with two strands of Lion Brand. So that's in a separate uh, Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick and that's in a separate video. This one is Premier Yarn Saturate Yarn, uh, three strands, but then I tell you in the video how you could actually do this with two strands. This one is um, three strands, no, it's four strands actually, of Lion Brand Homespun Yarn. And I think you could actually use three strands of this and have this come out, um, you know, kind of drapey like the typical ones. Um, this one is a little bit full, but some people really like them that way, so it all depends. And the reason, one of the reasons why I do so many different ones is because you don't, that'll give you a good idea what these are going to look like finished. And um, I like the way the colors changed in this one. And I love the way the texture of this one. And this one was actually done with Premier Yarns Starbella, which is typically a um, netting yarn that you use for ruffled scarves. And this was done with um, Deborah Norville Serenity Chunky Yarn, three strands. And this was done with Starbella um, Lux Yarn, which is also typically a netting yarn. And this one, I went crazy with all different kinds of yarn. And I used um, Eversoft, like four strands. And then I used um, Enchant. We used three strands of that. And actually, two, um, there's four strands of um, City Life. So I just wanted to see what that would look like. And I thought the red was great to mix with the City Life. And it brought out the um, metallic and the yarns. So the possibilities are endless. And I'll go to close up now. And I'll show you how to arm knit a scarf. Hi, I'm Maggie from Maggie'sCrochet.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful infinity arm knitted scarf using Lion Brand's homespun yarn and this is a number five bulky yarn and I'm going to use four skeins. I pulled one strand out of each the center of each skein and um, these skeins have 185 yards on them when they're new. I took these out of my um, stash, so they uh, some of them didn't even have labels on them. And from what I can tell, the colors here are um, Colonial here on the dark color, and Barrington on this medium color, and I've got two strands of that. And then I'm combining it with this lighter color, which is either Waterfall or Regency. And it's a beautiful um, color here. and. If you have four brand new skeins, the way I figure it, each scarf should take about 55 to 60 yards. So you'll be able to get three scarfs out of this, um, out of the four skeins. And retail value of the skeins um, divided by the number of scarfs would make the cost for this scarf probably about $10 each. So to get started, you need to create a long tail for the long tail cast on. So I've already measured off three yards and um, I'm gonna push the, my three yards over here. So this will be referred to as my long tail and this yarn over here will be called my working yarn. So to start right at the three yard mark you hold all four strands together as one and you just loop this over like this and that top strand comes across the back like this and then you pull that strand forward. You'll notice there's a knot side and a slip side so you just pull on the knot side like this and then reach over here and pull on the slip side and have that um, loop be big enough to fit onto your hand. Okay, so this is going to count as your first stitch right here. And you'll notice as we go along, all the loops on this um, 
cast on actually come from the long tail. So to cast on, I have my long tail here and my working yarn here. And all I do is come up between them like this, pull this up, and you see two loops. And I'm going to go on this side of this loop right here. And then I'm just going to reach over and grab that loop. See it's coming from that yarn over there. And just let this loop drop down on this loop. And then I just take it and put it on my hand like that. No twisting or anything. Then I want to turn it underneath and just tighten it underneath a little bit like that. And you're going to tighten after every single stitch that you do. You need to tighten. So then I go back like this. And you want to go over here like this and grab this. Let this one fall and put this new one onto your hand. And then underneath you want to pull that. So then you go back here like this and pull up. Go on this side, grab that strand and pull that through like this. and then tighten underneath. And then pull up like this. Go over here like this. Pull this through like this. Let this drop down and put this on your hand. And tighten underneath. Go under here like this. Go on this side of this loop. Take this strand over here let this one drop, put this on your hand, tighten underneath. And you want to make sure all your strands stay even. You don't want this little loop like this. So I am going to kind of, what I'm going to do is, let me see, that's the last loop that I had on my hand. So all I need to do is find where that is. I'm just going to take that last loop off. See right there I had the, the, it was a loop like that. So you want to make sure that doesn't happen. So I'm going to do that one over. I just pull this up, go on this side, pull this strand, let this drop, and put that new loop on my arm and tighten underneath. And then go under here, pull up. Go on this side, grab this one over here, make sure you're grabbing all four strands, let this one drop, and put the new loop on your hook like that. Okay, so now to count, you have to count the groups of four. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I want to do a total of nine. So just go here, go on this side, reach over and grab the other loop, let this one drop, and put this on your hand. Tighten underneath. These are so easy once you get used to them. And here's the last one, same thing. Go over and get that one. That's it. Okay, so this is leftover of the long tail. Okay, so here is a tip. If you leave a longer end, if you measure off a longer end, or if you just land up with a, a lot left over on your long tail, you can um, hold on to this with this working yarn until this is fed back into your scarf. So the way you would do that is you would just um, hold, normally you'd hold on to this, but you could hold on to both of these until this yarn got used up and then it wouldn't be in your way and then it would be woven back in. So I'm going to grab a hold of I'm going to grab a hold of this yarn and this at the same time until this is fed back in. So right now I'm going to grab a hold of of my working yarn and my long tail 
and I'm just going to hold on to it like this and I'm going to move these loops onto that loop, all eight loops there and I'm going to put the new loop over onto the opposite hand like this and then I'm going to tighten and then I'm going to hold all eight strands into this arm on that side. I'm going to take the next four strands off like this onto the eight strands and I'm going to move that over here. So now I need to pull some more yarn out. These should come out pretty easy. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a hold of this. Hold pull the next four off. I just want to make sure I've got the four strands. So right there, pull that onto this and move the new loop over here and tighten. Hold this, move this loop off, take the new loop and put it onto the opposite hand and tighten. See this is getting all used up right here and it's like woven back in really good. Okay, hold on to this, pull the four loops over the eight loops like this, and feed this onto your hand. Okay, so now we're only dealing with the four loops, the four strands. So that's a great way to um, work in your long tail. And then it's out of your way for the rest of your scarf instead of having it hanging there until you get finished. So now I'm going to uh, be working just with my four strands after I've got those um, my long tail worked in. So then I'm just going to take this, go over here, and put the new loop over there. So now I'm just dealing with my working yarn. That's it. My long tail is completely wrapped into here. So now I grab hold of my working yarn. I move this loop off here. I drop this loop there and put the new loop over here. And then back in this hand like this. I move this over here. And then this working yarn. And then pull this loop off and move this over here and tighten. You always want to tighten. So that is the end of row one. And right here you can see the end of that long tail. Which you can go back at the end and uh, weave it in. So that's what row one looks like. Okay, now when you start, the yarn is over here. And you're going to pull the four loops over this strand. Put the new loop right here on the opposite hand and tighten. Hold this in here. Make sure you get all four strands and move the new loop over on the opposite side and tighten. Next four off. Move it over here and tighten. Next four. Move it off and tighten. Next Actually now I'm into the part where I have eight strands because of the long tail being worked on. But you can pretty much tell the division between the groups of strands. Because they're definitely separated into the loop below it. So now I'm going to pull all eight strands down there. And the four strands go over here. The new loop. So this moves over here. And this moves over here and tighten. And then it's eight strands because of the long tail being on there. And the four go over here. And then the eight strands and then the four go over here. And then the eight. So we're definitely done with the long tail right now. Because there's only groups of four on my arm right now. Doesn't that look beautiful, those shades of blue? It's so pretty. Okay, so now, yarn in this hand, move these four loops over, new loop goes on the opposite hand. So, these loops over, loop goes over here, pull. This, right here, go over here, 
pull. This goes over here, pull. This moves over here and pull. This moves over here and pull. This moves over here and pull. And this move it over here and pull. And this pull it over here and there. So that is row three complete. And it's going to be a little bit fuller right where we um, worked in the long tail. And you don't have to work the long tail in like that. If you want to just leave it hanging, then when you get done with it, you can just weave it in um, your piece. So that's basically how you um, just keep doing it like that, moving it back. Now I just go over to here and um, I'll just do this one more time. And you would just want to keep going until your scarf is um, your desired length and to wrap around once so that you have a two loop infinity scarf. Um, it should be probably around six feet long and when it's over on one side um, when all the loops are on one side you can take it um, like in front of a mirror and wrap it around your head and see if it's uh, the length you want or you could have something like pre-measured and um, measure it so that it's um, so that it's at least six feet long I think So I'm going to finish this scarf and I'll come back on camera and I'll show you how to bind off and then how to sew it together. But that's what it looks like so far. So continue just going back and forth and get it to the length that you want and then I'll come back on camera and I'll show you how to bind off. I finished my scarf and it's about six feet long and now I'm ready to bind off and to do that I just um, it doesn't matter which side the bind off um, is started from and now I'm just gonna knit two stitches so I hold this in my hand like this and I pull this over to here and I tighten and then I go like this, do that and tighten. And now I'm going to take the first loop that I pulled off and pull it over this loop right here. And then that stitch right there is bound off. So now I pick the yarn back up over to here, knit the next stitch off like this and tighten. And then Pull the previous loop over the new loop like this, and this stitch is bound off. So then pull this, and you just keep doing that until all the stitches are off except for the last one. Drop this over this. Get my yarn out here. Okay, and here. Tighten. Take the previous loop drop it off over the new loop, knit the next one, put it over here, take the previous one, drop it off, okay, knit the next one, tighten, pull the previous loop over the new loop like this, Knit the next one off. Take the previous loop, drop it off. Now you can see I've only got two loops left. So I take the last one, knit that off, and then move the previous loop over the new loop like this. So now I have the la very last loop on my hook here, on my arm here. I keep thinking about hooks. Oh, 
Okay, so now I'm just going to cut probably about 18 inches out like this. And now I don't need my yarn anymore, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to take the lat that strand that I just cut and I'm going to hold that here like this and then I'm going to pull that strand all the way through that last loop. And then this will, you just pull this and then it locks. So then it's a great feeling to have all of those loops off your arm after about a half hour of knitting your scarf. So now what you want to do is line up your scarf so that all the knit stitches are facing the same way. And you can tell the knit stitches by the little V's and you don't see V's on this side. You just see these um, bars like this. So you want to go around and make sure that all of your knit stitches are facing one direction like this. And then you bring the side together. And you can flip this so that you have like a twisted scarf, but typically I think they're putting them together so that the knit side matches up all the way around. So all you need to do now is to, you could put this on a safety pin or you could put it on a, um, like a yarn needle, but you wouldn't be able to put all these strands in a typical yarn needle. Or you could just do it with your hands like I'm going to show you here. So all you do is just feed this through and get a good chunk of the strands. And you may want to flip this over too and do it on the wrong side. But just go through like this and sew the cast, uh, the cast on stitches to the bind off stitches. And just match them up. And you want to make sure that this corner right here matches up when you get down to the end. And then you might want to just pull this a little bit like this to make sure it's kind of snug in there. Not too much because you don't want it to pull. Okay. Then over here, like that, and then at the end, you might want to come here like this and just bring a loop through like this and then bring the strand through and it'll create like a knot down there. And then just weave the, this end into your scarf like this. So that's it. That's how you make and yeah, a infinity cowl with four strands of Lion Brand homespun yarn. So the links to everything are listed below and I want to thank you for watching and make sure that you visit maggiescrochet.com and subscribe to our channel. So I hope that you enjoyed your arm knitting lesson. If you have any questions or comments, just write them below and please subscribe to our channel and make sure that you watch all of our tips and all of the other arm knitting um, scarves and Afghan um, videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'm back over here and I'm going to knit off one more stitch like this, put it over here, tighten over the whole strand of yarn and then pull that strand of yarn all the way through and then just for extra um, security 